don't don't want a lot for Christmas. That's just just, just, just one thing I need. And I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. This is the UMass Sports Insider, brought to you by Coca-Cola. Welcome to our holiday show. This is Coach Kellogg with the UMass men's basketball team, and I want to wish everybody a happy holidays and definitely a happy and safe new year. Well, thank you so much, Coach. I'm your host, Josh Maurer, and coming up later in the show, we'll have the heartwarming story of a UMass coach who annually challenges his body to the limit to raise money for cancer awareness. But we start with another annual tradition here for UMass Athletics, one in which some students bring cheer to some children less fortunate. Here's Cody Cruschel as UMass Catering presents Serving the Community. Armed with over 200 toys, UMass's Student Athlete Advisory Committee made its annual pilgrimage to Shriners Hospital for Children in Springfield to spread some holiday cheer. Shriners Hospitals for Children here in Springfield, Mass. is a pediatric orthopedic hospital. So we treat kids from birth to age 18 for any conditions of their bones, muscles, and joints. It's been so much fun. The kids are so cute and they're all so happy to get it. And they'll look at everything, but once they see that gift that they want, they, their faces just light up. The athletes collected at four basketball and hockey games in early December, then packed up their sleigh with 10 boxes of toys and four bags of stuffed animals. It's amazing that we get so many supporters of people. Just in two weeks we collect so many toys and everyone at this hospital is so grateful. Like even if the kids don't get it now, they use it throughout the whole year and so the toys are going to very, very good things. Shriners serves roughly 18,000 children on an annual basis. 2012 marks the 10th straight year UMass has ventured down to Shriners and the 10th straight year the Minutemen and Minute Women have helped put smiles on kids' faces. The toy drive is wonderful. It not only benefits us during the holiday season because we do have a lot of patients that come in and we like to be able to offer them a toy, it helps us out throughout the year because we use the toys as a distraction technique. So if a child has to have a a procedure done in our outpatient department that might include needles, it's nice to be able to offer them a toy to play with. We got our first uh, stuffed animal taken away, which was nice by a little girl. Um, a toy of choice are definitely the cars, the helicopters for the boys. They love it, just running around with the cars like a little boy's playing with this helicopter, like they love it. Ah, oh, we have a password journal if you want to keep secret. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm like selling them the toys. I'm like, do you want this one to bring home? This one, what would you do with this one? And then when they see the toy they want, they just go for it. This is my first time specifically for SAC with UMass and it was fantastic. It was very heartwarming to see the smile on the kids' face and their reaction to how much um, fun they could have with the toys. It really made me smile. It was very awesome. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel. Thank you, Cody, and we appreciate all the great work those students are doing to help spread some holiday cheer. Well, we move on to the court now, and it's time to share the story of a UMass Hoops player who missed the entire Final Four run in the NIT last year because of injury, but has come back to become a major contributor to the team's early season success. We go in the bunker now. Here's Joe Duty with Samson Carter. Out to the wing. Good from the corner. UMass opened the season with a buzzer beater win over Harvard back on November 13th. For the man who hit that shot, senior Samson Carter, it marked the completion of a comeback nearly a year in the making. I just can't explain it. It was just a shot that I felt like I needed to hit. It was a shot that I, I felt like was going to bring me back, you know what I'm saying? Physically and mentally. And it was to say it was the first game, it was the game I probably had been thinking about for a whole a year and a half plus a summer. Man. I was just blessed to make that shot, man. Carter was sidelined by a hip injury early last season. After undergoing surgery to repair a torn labrum, the Louisiana native began to rehab. I had to get up every day and rehab. Like, I, I couldn't take no days off except for the weekend, Sunday. You know, so uh, just being routine and having a routine workout every day and fighting scar tissue every day, it was, it was probably my biggest challenge. 
The hard work has proven to be worth it. Carter has proven to be a versatile presence off the UMass bench, slotting into the post for the first time in his college career. And Carter has been able to achieve his success under the watchful eye of his older brother, Chiron, a former standout at Memphis, who happens to be one of his coaches at UMass. In a way, I've, you know, I've been coaching him since he was four years old, five years old, even as a big brother. Um, when it became a job, it was a little <laughs> difficult, you know. Um, just had to pick my spots when to back off and when to get on them and let some other coaches. They've done a good job, the other assistants and Coach Kellogg, of, of stepping in when I probably would get frustrated, you know, and dealing with the coaching part so that I could step back and, you know, and, and, and cheer them on. It's been a little different because he had to go from my brother to being my coach, so it was kind of like awkward at first. Then I had to get the, you know, the kick of, the kick of things, and then it turned out to, uh, you know, work out fine, you know what I mean? Because he's like a brother, so he can he can he can call me and talk to me about brother things, and then he can call me and talk about coaching things. You know what I mean? What to do on the court, off the court, you know? The thing I'm most proud of him is, is I used to tell him when people stop saying, "Oh, you look, you Sharon's little brother," then you gonna know you made a little progress. You know, just this past weekend in Memphis and, and, and this past summer, now when I go places, people stop me and say, you're Samson's brother. So, yeah. you know, he's had to play with a, with a uh, great deal of pressure here. Um, but I think it's also caused him to mature and play at another level. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Joe Duty. Thanks, Joe. We'll have more on Samson Carter's early season success coming up a little bit later on in the show. Well, as the Hoops team is getting ready to finish its non-conference schedule, they've been working hard in practice, and so recently we asked Coach Kellogg to wear a microphone for us. He's going to take us through one of their drills. It's time for DK's X's and O's. Our one-on-one -on -one defense, it's the premise of everything we do defensively, of keeping pressure to the ball, keeping the guy out of the paint, and we try to cover the elbows and the hash mark on the, uh, on the baseline of keeping the um, offensive player out of those spots. You see here, this is a great five-second one-on-one defensive drill for toughness, ball pressure, and really just getting the team involved. Here we go. Go ahead, here we go, here we go now, here we go, here we go, come on. A lot of talk on the side, a lot of talk on the side. Good putt, good putt. Four, three, two, one, there we go, there we go, block that, block that, yeah! Good, good putt, good putt, here we go, here we go. Gives each guy a chance to go against a few different style of players. You got some small guys against bigs, and you got some bigger guys against uh, guards, which is nice. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Yeah, Jamo, don't reach, don't reach, good, good, good. Good D, good D. Good, good, lock it up, lock it up, get him T. <laughs> That's two pit bulls right there. Good, good, good. Rebound that, rebound that. Good, good. Oh, he just grabbed him that time. He's getting tired. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Come on. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Thank you for the lesson, Coach. Well, it's time for us to break on our holiday show for the first time. Don't go far away when we come back. We'll have more hoops for you, including a flashback, some recent game highlights, and some film study with Coach Kellogg. More holiday fun to come. Don't go away. Tired of the way big banks operate? At Alden Credit Union, we don't play games with your money. Alden Credit Union's next generation financial planning services can help you reach your goals for free.
Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. With Premier Bus Lines, you'll be in good hands when safely aboard one of our comfortable brand new 2012 high capacity buses. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfasts, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, Tented Outdoors, or our own Renaissance House. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. You're watching the UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. It was three years ago, the freshman season for Freddie Riley, Samson Carter, Javon Farrell, and Terrell Vinson, when the 5-5 five five Minutemen hosted the 7-1 Memphis Tigers at the TD Garden. And the underdog Minutemen hung in with the favorite Tigers right until the end. Let's flash back to that afternoon, December 19th, 2009. for the loose ball. Underneath Carter. Puts it home. Where do they go? Little lob inside. Ball deflected. Underneath. In go. Terrell Vinson. Oh my goodness. Vinson, the freshman. A loose ball and he put it home. Point three left. And UMass is up a point. The game-winning shot by Terrell Vinson, who was then a freshman, is now one of two that he's had in his career. Of course, he hit a buzzer beater in Puerto Rico earlier this season to beat Providence. He had 21 points also against Memphis, which was his career high until earlier this month when he topped it with 22 against Elon. And speaking of that game, as we go to instant replay, it's time for us to take a look back at some of the highlights of that thriller at the Mass Mutual Center. It gave UMass Hoops some momentum going into the holiday break. An overtime thriller. Let's look back. Now he's gone cold. Rebounded by Freddie Riley. Up to Williams. Down the court. Williams fouled. And the bank shot is good. And UMass has gone ahead. Eight. Jazz Williams has the ball. Left wing out behind the line. Esho sets the screen. Deep two-pointer Williams. Good. As he was hitting the deck. 66-63 Minutemen. Koch on the drive to the middle. And the shot blocked by Sampson Carter. Out to Sampson. Sampson hits the three. And we're tied at 66. Here come the Minutemen still tied. Oh, nice pass luck. to Sampson Carter. And he banks it in from Morgan. Sampson Carter. How about a time for a big Jesse Morgan jumper? Maybe he gets his first points of the game. Driving baseline Morgan. He banks it in. There's his first two after eight misses. Earlier in the show, we profiled Samson Carter, who has moved to the center spot this season, and his play there has been a big reason why UMass Hoops has been successful. To see how he's been able to make that transition, let's go into Coach Kellogg's film room, where it's time for some Coke Chalk Talk, DK. And today we're in front of the brain. We're going to talk about my main man, Samson Carter, a guy who came back from a, a tough injury and is really playing well for us this season. We call him a hybrid. A hybrid forward means a guy that can play inside, outside, can cover on the perimeter on defense, but also in the post. And here you'll see Samson doing a lot of great things, both defensively and offensively. First off, here he is closing out on a shooter, playing great defense with great ball pressure, forcing a turnover here with great pressure, bothering his eyes, playing great defense on the perimeter. More importantly, he's been able to cover the big guys in the post for us and give a break to some guys like Caddy Lane and Tyler Bergantino and, and our big guys by being able to play and guard in the post, being physical and strong. It gives us an opportunity to play more of a hybrid, kind of interchangeable lineup on the offensive end. Here you'll see him really working in the post to, to get offensive rebound putbacks. And you'll also see him running the floor with a great finish and a big time win down at Siena with a nice finish there for Samson Carter in transition. He's also playing, doing a good job working that mid post area, taking the bigger guys off the dribble. And really he causes a mismatch problem by being that hybrid, being able to cover a bigger guy on one end of the floor and being able to score over, as you see there, a smaller guard. He's, he's doing a nice job also of using a ball fake from three after knocking a few down and driving into the rim. Really playing well for us right now. Here he is against Miami, against the big guy Reggie Johnson, knocking down a three. 
Samson's done a nice job of being able to cover different guys on, on the defensive end of the floor. He can go out and cover a smaller player on the perimeter. He can cover a bigger guy on the inside, and that's let the matchup problems on the other end. As you've been able to see, he's going to the offensive glass. He's doing a nice job posting up. He's even knocking down an occasional three, and he's able to take uh, the bigger guys uh, off the dribble. So it's nice to have one more hi hybrid forward, and it's good to have Samson Carter back in a UMass uniform being healthy. Thanks to Coach and everybody in the brain. It's time for us to take a break. On the other side, we're going to catch up with a UMass swimming coach who has pushed his body to the very limits to raise money for an important cause. Keep it tuned right here. It's easy to fall, but it takes everything you got to get back up. Defeat is only a mindset, but winning, winning is a habit. Minutemen return home to the Mullen Center on Saturday, January 5th to take on Eastern Michigan at 2 p.m. 6.9 is a breakthrough. 6.9 is a physics lesson. 6.9 is the outer limit. 6.9 is an explosion. Point nine is ounces, and that makes this the lightest ever. The UMass Hotel and Conference Center was voted the best hotel in Amherst. Situated on the beautiful University of Massachusetts campus, the UMass Hotel and Conference Center is where you stay to be in the heart of it all. With 116 contemporary guest rooms, free wireless internet, room service, 36 meeting rooms, free parking, and in walking distance to downtown Amherst, the UMass Hotel and Conference Center has it all. The UMass license plate says it all. You don't have to be a sports star. Any UMass fan can be a star with a UMass license plate. Ride with UMass Pride. Order your license plate at UMassAlumni.com. All proceeds benefit UMass. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. This is men's hockey coach John Micheletto. From everybody here at the UMass Athletics family, have a great holiday and a happy new year. Thanks for the holiday wishes, Coach. Well, recently, when the fight against cancer became personal for UMass swimming and diving head coach Bob Newcomb, he decided he was going to do something about it. And now for years, he's joined in with others all across New England on a unique bike ride that goes across the entire state of Massachusetts. Here's Steve Toll. For the past five years, women's swimming coach Bob Newcomb has taken place in the Pan Mass Challenge, a two-day, 190-mile bikeathon the largest athletic charity event in the nation. It was the year I turned 50 and it was something I wanted to sort of make a little celebration of that and, and to really start giving something back to, to society. Raising over $30 million annually for cancer research, a cause with very personal resonance for Coach Bob Newcomb. My father passed away uh, 17 years ago from esophageal cancer and and uh, he was kind of the, the first one in, that I, I really had on the shirt. And my mom had lymphoma for many years and passed away this past December. And so naturally I'm, I'm riding with, with my parents as, as my primary reason. When I first um, told some people I was gonna do this, they kind of looked at me and said, you're gonna ride how far and in what amount of time? And, and, uh, and, and they were kind of shocked and, and they've, they've come to expect that and they've really supported what I'm doing. Families, friends, a lot of the swimming alumni, parents of alumni, people I've met uh, through the community. I mean, it's, it's just a, it's been a, a really good, wide, broad base of support. I, I ride with a bunch of names on my jersey and people that um, donate, then they want to do it in honor of someone. But my main, main reason is riding for my parents. The first year I rode and I had 18 names on my jersey and this past year I had 43 names on my jersey. So I think more people are, are starting to see it and 
Um, it's getting a little harder to get all the names on the jersey in one spot, and, and uh, but we're still doing it. And I'll keep adding names and um, for you know to 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 honor people, to in memoriam, and and however people want to do it, I will I will do that. And so it's it's become something. And my slogan is "Together We Ride." The ride also provides a moment of which we all call the RPMC moment. So each year there's something that happens along the way that you really reinforces why you're doing it. And this particular year they talked about a, a, a father of a, of, a, of a boy who passed away when he was 16 of cancer and he rides. And the important part about that was they, after their son passed away, the, a teacher gave them um, the parents' stories of he had written when he was younger about how much he liked to ride his red and black bike and the father actually rides this bike during the PMC and it's it's you know and I passed him this year and that was my moment when I saw him and I saw the picture of his son on his back and I saw the bike he was riding and it really it, it is a very it was a, it was a very emotional thing you know, look at the PMC.org on the website. You can see the roots, and you can see so many of the pictures and the things about the weekend. And it's 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 an event that you will always remember. And you know, I'm going back next year. I already know that. And you know, I regard myself as a lifer. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Stephen Toll. Hi, I'm Jeff Burris, assistant football coach with the University of Massachusetts. On behalf of Charlie Monar and the rest of UMass football coaching staff, we'd like to wish you a happy holiday season and a blessed new year. When we come back from this commercial break, we'll find out some of the UMass athletes' New Year's resolutions. Remember when you got your car? We were able to get you the best loan. And when you bought your house, you knew you could count on us for an affordable mortgage. But you probably associate credit cards with big banks whose rates just end up getting you deeper in debt. Not anymore. As a nonprofit, we can offer you a credit card at a much lower rate than the big banks. Introducing the Alding Credit Card. Come on in and talk with us. At Alding Credit Union, we take your whole life into account. I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfasts, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, Tented Outdoors, or our own Renaissance House. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. It's easy to fall, but it takes everything you got to get back up. Defeat is only a mindset, but winning, winning is a habit. Turn home to the Mullen Center on Saturday, January 5th to take on Eastern Michigan at 2 p.m. You're watching the UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. It's the final segment of our holiday show. As you can see, I've dressed up for the occasion. Hey, as we approach New Year's all over the world, people are making self-promises to try to improve something about their lives. And we asked some UMass athletes today, what is your New Year's resolution going to be? Let's check it out. Presented by Alden Credit Union, it's our lighter side. My New Year's revolution is to accomplish more, whether it's personally, uh, on the court, 
um, with this program. Just, just do more. Eat healthier. I mean, it's kind of hard to eat healthy at UMass because yeah. you know the food is so good. And I don't know. Can I talk about my hair or something? Maybe huh? like, like maybe it needs to like get better. I'm trying to work on it right now. I'm at an awkward stage, so hopefully, like <laughs> after New Year's, like maybe it'll get a little better. My New Year's resolution is to be consistent. I would just say be consistent um, on the court, off the court. Just try to get uh, my weight up, I'd say, to at least 210 by the end of next season. Maybe stop eating as much junk food. I don't know. Uh, see the truth comes out. Yeah. What things like off the court would you want to accomplish more of? Uh, I want to be a 4.0 student. I'm trying to be a 4.0 student. Well, that's a heck of a resolution there. Yeah, yeah. and I'm trying to uh, get my network, my networking skills up. Have you had that resolution before? Yeah. Yeah. How did it work out the other times? Um, not very well. What do you want to change about your hair? I just want it to get a little longer. I want the back to drop down a little. It's I kind of cut it weird to start the season and and, and thought that it would probably like look really great right now. You want to be consistent in life and basketball? Yes, yes definitely. Just consistent all the way around. Be a consistent teammate, sister, daughter, you know, um, student, everything. Just be consistent because it's my senior year. I don't really have any other choice but to be consistent. How are you going to add the weight? Uh, lifting extra, uh, I say, and just keep eating a lot and taking proteins. I'm How much junk food do you eat? Mm, good amount. And sometimes not as much during the hockey season. Though. Fast food? No, I'm not actually a fast food guy. Sometimes I like to indulge myself in uh, Snicker bars. I think networking is tough, you know? Networking is tough, but, you know, I mean, I'm a good guy. I attract a lot of good people, so. You got the smile. Let's, let's show us the networking smile. Look into the camera. Yeah, that is. So how are you going to do it different? I mean, I think I'm just going to be more determined. I mean, why not try again? You know, you fail, you try again. Can we get a close-up here? Let's see. I mean, my, my top's really long. It's like... My back needs to even out, though. It's still like... <laughs> You've thought about this? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's, you have to think th things through. You don't want to just go out there and, you know, have no goals or plans. So, I definitely thought it through. From at my last school to air, I put on about 15 pounds so far, so I'm doing good. You're on your way. So you want 210? Where are you at now? Uh, I'm at 205. Oh, you're more, almost there. Five more pounds. It's just like, a little more cheesecake after <laughs> dinner or something, right? Yeah, something like that, yeah. I think that's a pretty big typical resolution. Less candy. Yep, definitely. It's, it's not needed. Maybe that'll help you get better at hockey. Yeah, hopefully. Pick up the, pick up the speed on the boots. It sounds like some good resolutions. Thanks, everybody. Well, that'll do it for us. Again, from everybody here at UMass Athletics, we wish you a very happy happy and healthy holiday season. Our next new episode of UMass Sports Insider will come on January the 4th and the 5th as we preview the start of the Atlantic 10 season. Until then, I'm Josh Maurer. And thanks so much for watching. The UMass Sports Insider, brought to you by Coca-Cola, Adidas, UMass Catering, the UMass Alumni Association, and UMassAthletics.com.